Hey everybody, Chuck and Stacy here with VO Buzz Weekly, and we are back. We are totally back, and we're back with Mark Grau. Let's get buzzed. Yes. Turn it up. Get ready. You're tuned in to VO Buzz Weekly. Weekly. And now, prepare to get seriously buzzed with your hosts, Chuck Duran and Stacy J. Aswan. So, what no, that's fun not things for me do you either. have going on right now as an actor? I mean, um, Alaska State Troopers, so Right, well, that's a, that's a wonderful ongoing, you know, kind so of a game. So good. Um, you know, I, I mean, there's still, you know, you've got the accounts that you do all the time. There's a, a couple of cartoons, the video game stuff. It's Aren't you doing something with golf balls? <laughs> yeah, it's a, a series called Ball Hogs that's basically <laughs> about guys in the deep south that retrieve golf balls on, on uh, golf courses yeah, out, yeah. Of, out of lakes. And, and, you know, the trials and tribulations of golf mm. ball retrieving, um, you know, it was a, a alligator in one, uh, oh. you know, a snapping turtle. But these guys are just kind of, you know, like, well, Bill, look at that. Bill's got 40 balls on the thing. And that's, Baba, what the hell are you doing? He only got two. You know, kind of, well, gosh, boss, I'm sorry. I mean, I was trying to get out there, but Bill's truck broke down and shit. Well, I don't know what we're going to do today, you know. And it's just, and it's like, and this is a reality series. And so what so. was that audition <laughs> like? Pretty much like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, like they, that. they want they, the read for this is that very much what Bob was doing this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Billy was still in his truck trying to figure out how to start it. Yeah. You know, it was that kind You're of. You're one uh, of the guys. Yeah, they wanted yeah. one of those kind of southerny nice. twang things. Nice. And that's you know again, the, the key, it's just think you know on your feet. Direction in a session, people have to realize you know if you you know do a funny voice. That's great, but that's not all there is to it. It's like if you do a New York voice. Mm -hmm. You know, so people will do the, you know, but, you know, do, do higher register. Do a Joe Pesci thing when a guy's up like this and that, and then put like 60 pounds on a guy and bring him down so he's got, you know, a little more girth to him. You know what right. I mean? Or yeah. make him uh, but you still have to tell stupid. the story. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. but you need to be able to change. Boss, you know, bring him down like this. You take my cheese, I'll pull your tail out of the socket. I mean, whatever it is. But it's, it's different layers mm -hmm. depending on what it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And so... What You're you, great, man. You're really, you really think, great. I know. What do you think are your strengths as an actor? I, I besides that, any. what's in um, your bag of tricks? Um, honestly, um, I, I think you know. I think over time, mm -hmm. being able to change with stuff. I remember just you know, it's like I remember Hallmark Channel kind of. They booked you off your audition. It was like when did I audition for mm -hmm. Hallmark? I don't even remember. And driving to the Hallmark Channel thing where you still <laughs> you didn't remember to, that you know, either, did no, you? No, no, but you get there, and I'm thinking, you know, that you know that you know Laura Ingalls has a vagina on the yeah. next house, on the little house on the prairie. I mean, you know, one of the, you know, and I get there, and it's like no, no, it's one of those, you know, tonight on Mesh, it's. Friday. Burns. Yeah, so, you know, yeah. it's like, really? You're like, what? You know, you feel like, are you, was it me? You know, yeah. I didn't want to say that. I was like, oh, that. Mark with a C? Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Okay. Well, isn't your name John? You know, it's like, no. It's um, So, you know, I th the, the character stuff and, and dialects, yeah. mm -hmm. I think, are, are you know, and, and a lot of fun to do, yeah. you know, kind of stuff. And that's yeah. probably the Absolutely. The well, I love all the little things that you... Uh, that you post on uh, on Facebook and yes. even LinkedIn. Well, that's an interesting because those I vowed to myself one off. Yeah. Go in and do it, and it rolls, and that's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And whether or not it works or doesn't work, and I mean, I've gotten stuff, you know, with you know people going, you know. Well, I, I I think the first take really wasn't, you know, and it was like, yeah, that's great, I get yeah. it. I mean, it's, you know, it's hey, fine. it's my page. Well, no, 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 you I just, you know, you take yeah. it with it. But, I mean, you know that's going to be out there, of depending course. on what you put up. Well, people but love to give their it. opinions. Um, so, you know what I want to talk about right now? What? Teaching. Ah. Because right yeah. now, at Mark Grau Studios, there's some heavy teaching going on. There's some there's coaching going on. There's a lot of on. Skyping going on. So, right. so, can you tell us, and tell them, how can people coach with you or what you have going on there? How can they get on a list to find out what's, what's going on over there? Well, the website for coaching is, is www.mark, M-A-R-C dash Grau, G-R-A-U-E. There is a name. <laughs> That's actually my stage name. Mark no, Grau. I know. It's like, who the hell would come up with that? You know, but, um, <laughs> and that, that's specifically for the coaching stuff. Um, so mark-grau.com. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, I've just, I found that Skype works really well. It, it opens yeah. up things, too, because I meet mean, people right. in, you know, Scotland and London and Germany. So are and, you and available for one-on-ones yeah, as yeah, well? Yes. Very, very, yes. I try, I, I find you get a lot more. The classes at the studio, when you bring in a guest, yeah. you know, um, you know, whoever, a big director, a casting sure. director, um, are very good, but... 
it's generalized because mm-hmm. if you've got 12 people, you know, in a country, you can't really go, well, no, this works. It's like, well, you know, here's a piece of copy. Pick what you guys are going to do. Go in and yeah. do it, and they'll direct. But it's not really honing in on what it is you want to do. And and some people, you know, like that environment. I mean, it's good. You definitely, when we do it at the the studio, we try and cover a little bit of everything. I mean, we'll even throw up, you know, some uh, ADR stuff, you know, on the Mm -hmm. ADR stage and let Mm -hmm. them, you know, take a crack at that. I've even done ISDN sessions where I'll put them in another studio and lock it just to give them an idea and then Mm -hmm. do intentionally do it, leave it up so you get echo. So, so you, 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 because you, you will run into an ISDN session where they don't, you know, they'll go, well, it's on your, and it's like, trust me, it's not on this end. You're feeding back. Yeah. You know, this is the Mark Grau yeah. Legendary you know, Studios. You know, we have yes. no well, echo unless we, we want feedback. it. But to do that, just because occasionally you will run into yes. a session you gotta, or a situation. You go with it. Yeah. So it's just, it, you know, like things like that that will just, you know, even things like terminal. It's like when you, you know, uh, go into a session and they get, you're behind the mic and the director goes, okay, what are you going to do? What do you do? Don't go, hello, check, 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 testing. It's like, well, red flag. You know, it's like, no, do whatever you're going to do in the same level, same mm-hmm. tone. Yeah. You're, uh, engineers getting levels on them and yep. directors hearing what you're doing, you know, that kind of a feel. So it's it's more of a generalized what this business is is about. How mm-hmm. how can you make a living doing That's this? Beautiful. Real life training. You know, and the Skype great. stuff can really hone down, you know, like your wheelhouse and really and then spread from so that. So let me yeah. ask you this. Yeah. Why the heck are you doing this? Why are you why are you coaching? <laughs> Honestly, the reason I should because there was so much BS out. In fact, the thing that set me off, I was at a party one mm-hmm. night. Interestingly enough, it was at, the, at this party, and there was a, a woman who teaches, um, who was talking Nameless to all Chuck. of these people uh, about how she was the lead in this cartoon series and stuff, and da da da. And I finally got her aside and said, "You weren't." Oh well, yes, I, and I was like, "Well, we recorded that, and you were not the lead in that series." Mm. And Oopsie. it was well, I I, I I I did the scratch tracks, you know, for that, and I, and I kind of went, you know, this is, and so I'd much rather be, be honest, yeah. and and you know, just genuinely. I mean, it's like you've got a great reputation. Thank and, you, Mark. you know, but no, but but I mean, but I mean, that's important yes. to to be honest and and be genuine and not and not be around the bush and, and tell people these smoke and mirrors yeah. BS about all oh, you know because there's people I mean I've heard people that go well I took da 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 and they said within six months I should be making you know at least a hundred thousand a year oh with and it's the like, six figures who, I hate who the said six that? figures who, yeah who's gonna yeah. you know yeah and it's like is it possible absolutely but realize. You know, yes, we're sitting in a room, we're talking, and we're getting paid for it, which is amazing. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's yep. incredible that they haven't figured that out yet. Yep. Um, no, but, but it's important but, because p- there are a lot of people out there that, that are, it's hard to discern, and they're not sure. So that you but know, the reality is, it's a business. A yeah. Yeah. You know, it is a business, it is. and so there is that that part well, to I'm it. I'm glad and, and, that you're you know, one of the good guys out yeah. there helping us keep things straight for you guys. By the way, because well, um, they they need help, now, man. No, I mean, you, you know, need, yeah, we well, you didn't have this when you were breaking in. No, and and to the fact with the studio thing, it really gives you a perspective of what buyers are looking for in a director mm-hmm. and a writer mm-hmm. on this side of the glass, as well as not just the perspective of, as a performer, yeah. because it's, it's, a performer's very, you know, that's you, that's, that's how right. you do stuff. People may warm up differently. They may do this, they may do that, you know, physicality. I mean, it's like, that's very important. You know, wave, if you're doing a, even a, a pirate voice, your eye gets all squinted up and you're kind of leaned over. What's the matter with you? You know, it's not like, oh, it's a great a, pirate. No, but it's not Probably like, I'm, I'm a pirate, pirate what are you doing? Do, you know, it's Captain like... Captain Morgan, you know, what'd you yeah, say? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Captain Morgan, what did you say? say? Yeah. What is it? What, what are you is talking that? about? What is that? I, I can't hear you over here. I'm too drunk. <laughs> you know, so it's, it's you know, and, I, and so I just, I kind of got just tired of the... Of the there's yes. a, well, especially with the inner, there's so many claims oh, so that aren't substantiated yes. with just, you know, that people are doing this and that. And not, don't get me, I, I don't mean it as, you know, sour grapes or like, no, well, they don't no, know what they're no, doing. No, but, no. but, you know, I mean, it's all I've ever done. I'm, I'm not a smart man, but this but this part of it, I do I do know. You That's all I've ever done. Yeah, yeah. You know? Absolutely. And so no, you kind of know No, you got to fight what, the good fight you know, and put out the good stuff. Yeah. Well, it's, you know, and I just think, like anything else, if you want, you know, if you want a good demo, go to a, a place that, does good demos. If you want information, go to a place that actually has information. If you want to know the voice, go to somebody that knows the voiceover business. Yep. Mm-hmm. You know, not somebody that's like, you know, works at the local radio station in Phoenix, Arizona that's teaching a class at night. I mean, exactly. that's it, it's right. a little bit different right. thing. Right. You're not going to end up with yeah. something that's worth Well, and technology, much. thankfully, makes it 
fantastic for it people really who does. are not It really in does. And it's, you know, it's cities. kind of a nice. And yeah. I've been doing more with this, um, Skype or Zoom stuff. I brought Andrea Toyas on, who's the casting director from Blizzard. Mm -hmm. And it's really great to have somebody that way. You know, we had people from Scotland and from England and from back east and the mm -hmm. Midwest that actually can actually make that so connection because cool. yeah. they don't normally get the chance yeah, to do yeah. that. And she's very good about being honest and, and exactly what she looks for when she's casting. So yeah. it, it's kind of a nice, you know, I think it's fun to be able to do that and bring of some course, different people in to open yeah. that up a little bit. I mean, it's fantastic you know. awesome. that we can offer this mm -hmm. uh, nowadays. But I think the key is, is re if, you, if you're serious about doing this, voiceover is, is, is a, a living, um, take your time. You know, read, don't don't just go, you know, da, 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 well, yeah, I'm going to do it, you know, slip in my USB thing and I'm going to do a demo and we're ready to go. Because realize a demo is a one-off. You know, you're going to sit there as talent and listen to it and, you know, 700 times go, do you hear that th th on the, I'm just, I just, it sounds like, a, you know, and it's, yeah. a, nobody else is going to hear that. Mm -hmm. You know, an agent, buyer, one time, and it's either going to go, holy shit, this is great, or... They're yeah. not even going to get to it. It's going to be five yeah. seconds. You know, five and seconds, and the funny yeah. thing is, people say, you know, they'll only listen to the first 10 seconds. If it's good, they're going to listen to the whole yeah. thing. Absolutely. You know, and yeah. if it's not, it's, you're right. They'll make yeah. it and go, and that's it. And then but you're, in those you know, first 10 seconds, they can hear how good you are. Right. If that demo is self-produced or produced badly, mm -hmm. if the content is relevant to what is happening today. Right, and, and, and relevant to your voice. And, and your relevant signature. to your voice, yeah. and what your signature sound is, and if it's something that is sellable today. Mm -hmm. Right, So all right. that happens in 10 seconds. Powerful 10 seconds. Wow, yeah, no, and, I'm scared. And, and, but, it, but that really is true. And, but I think the people, the thing that people miss sometimes is that it is somebody listening to it that first time, mm -hmm. and and that's it. And either it's really going to grab attention. I know you, a lot of people say, well, you know, they don't accept unsolicited demos, that kind of thing. Agents are always on the lookout yeah, for, for what, because again, if it's a talented person and it's yeah. somebody that they they don't have on their roster, they will pick you up easily. Yeah. Yeah. And nowadays with the technology, with the exception of animation, you know, because mm -hmm. you pretty much have to be in LA for that. Yeah. But anything else, there, it's there's yeah. ways to work yeah. work around that. Video games, you always record by yourself anyway. Yep. I think I did one session that was a cast session, which was really smart. You know, because you're like, <laughs> you know, why everybody's doing it. You know, I'll kill you. I got the computer on. Da -da. <laughs> you know, yeah. can I talk yet? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, kind of, you know, yeah, yeah. it was kind of a silly. Yeah, that's great, yeah. man. Yeah. Hey, at any point during your 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 wonderful career, did anybody ever? give you a piece of advice or some really, really good advice that just helped you put things in the right order in order to take things yeah, to the next think, level? Yeah, I think first off, don't take yourself too seriously, you know, mm -hmm. but be honest with yourself. You know, and, and if you have a vision, you there's no reason in the world you can't make that happen. Um, when I came back to, up to L, I mean, I had zip. I mean, ab literally zero. Yeah. Um, I was sleeping on a futon, crashing at a buddy's house with the roaches. The whole. I mean, it was it was mm. not a, a good situation. But but I had this vision. My, my I had the root the futon you know, too, just no roaches. You know, <laughs> go ahead. But I had my my dad was probably the biggest detractor of all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was like, well, you're never. Yeah. I mean, you don't have any back. You don't have any contacts. What the hell makes you think? I mean, really? You know, what are you thinking? That's just a, you know, it's a pipe dream. It's, and it's like, no, I got this. And then I think, I don't know, Debbie Reynolds or somebody was there and he came by and it was like, oh, oh they, okay, well, maybe this will work, you know. Right. Yeah. But I think if you, if you, you know, have a, have a vision and have a game plan, just understand that where, you know, people are now, people will look at you and go, God, man, I mean, I would love you, you have it made, and da -da. but realize, you know, it's been a long haul. You know, when you want to go from here to here, it's never that. You're going to be over here and go, yep. what the hell, and over here, yep. and da, -da, da But eventually, just keep that prize in mind, and, and it'll happen. Yeah. And, you know, it could happen in a week, it could happen in six months, it could happen in 10 years, yep. Yep. you know. Yep. But this is not a business to play in, where people go, Oh well, yeah. I you know I can I can do stuff like after three o'clock on Thursdays. It doesn't work that way. Right. Mm -hmm. It's very much if you know an agent a buy. I was on the way to the dentist. You know, you would make your three month yes. out appointment yes. um, about two weeks ago and got a call from the agent. Cartoon Network needs you now. Now this was in the morning, so I had to turn around, come home, turn everything on, and go and blow the dentist off. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. because that's it. It is a very Jimmy Kimmel. We do a ton of the parody stuff. 
and it's all very immediate. And then you have to sit there and be on call till a half an hour before showtime because right. the writers are rewriting. Right. You know, this one word's a lot funnier. Okay, let's redo the whole thing. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's you know. But the thing is, it's honestly, it's just I think be true to yourself, be realistic. You know, to yourself, is there room for everybody? Absolutely, but do what you do and do it just a notch better. Yep. Don't try and pattern yourself after, you know, somebody else or, or do all these th impressions that you think are amazing that aren't, that are okay. you know, right. Right. because right. there's yeah. guys in town, again, like voice matching that are dead on, yeah. you know, I mean, that they bring in to do Al Pacino's lines because he wants a million dollars extra yeah, or right. something. Exactly. Um, but that really is the, is the key. And whether, you know, it's like if you have a commercial and you do well, let's say you're an older guy and you do, you know, commercial stuff and want to get commercials might be good. Never Generation might be work, but you know, animation, video game stuff. Unless you have like at least a base of characters there, it's pretty hard to just all of a sudden start doing that again. Improv, phenomenal. Yeah, uh, that's the, probably yeah. one of the best things that you can learn because you really need that to come mm -hmm. out of your shell and go. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. great. And and a director may very. I've had I've been in sessions where they go, that's great. I love where it is. Put sixty pounds on them. Give them a two martini lunch. <laughs> Mm. Or yeah. was playing a troll in cartoon where the direction was, I love the size of him. Now make it sweatier. <laughs> you know, and yeah. you don't want to go, what does that mean? You know, yeah. so go, oh, oh, yeah, the sweaty course, troll. Yes. Yeah. You were part of, um, in, in production side and stealing the party scene of In a World. Like <laughs> it was Lincoln. fine. It was fine. It was so fun with Joseph Briano and Mark Elliott and Fred Melamed. What was that experience like for you? How did that kind of come to you? Well, for me, I was really like, the, everybody had to audition for it, mm -hmm. but I didn't because I knew Lake, <laughs> and Lake had worked at the studio, and she said, yeah. I really want you, and it was like, but of course, so, yeah. um, and it was great. Fred, actually, that's where I met Fred, who's become mm -hmm. a, a very good friend, as, as you guy. know, yeah. um, and he was real helpful, you know, with, with things just like, no, no, here, man, this is your shot, so, do, you know, that, that right, kind of right. stuff, but um, it was a lot of fun. The studio, you know, anytime they shoot at the studio, it can be because you're still, it's a working studio. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, they'll take the game <laughs> in and they had taken the door off of Studio A. It was like, guys, <laughs> you mean... can't, well, we need to get the camera. Oh, they or took it was, the door you know, Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they had that, or I had, uh, we, had we were doing a, a project with Disney, and Disney was in there going, you know, no, no, uh, it can't come out yet. And it was like, trust me, they can come out. Um, or we had, uh, uh, what's the dating site of the old guy, Dr. Uh, oh. E-Harmony? Yes, E-Harmony. Not Doc Farmers Only. No, no but E-Harmony. E e <laughs> and Dr. comes driving up in his Bentley, and the PA is going, well, you can't park here. Like, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, he, he can. can. Yeah. You know, so, you know, little little things like mm -hmm. that, you know, but it, it, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. It was a really good, It's a great you know. movie. You guys can find it on on. If iTunes, you haven't seen it's In so a World, good. it's a fabulous it's a, it's a cute it's movie. So it's really. yeah. She so did good. a bang. It's, her career really is just, well, except talk about a Cinderella story. She yeah, totally. did that on a shoestring budget, yeah. took it to Sundance, um, mm -hmm. sold it, won the top writing prize, yep. and then um, Village Roadshow picked it up, and yeah. Sony distributed it. It was like, you know, and now yeah. she's got all kinds Good of things her. going. Yeah, yeah, it was so great. Amazing. It's, Amazing. It just shows you, you can do it. Cool. Yes. Yeah, it was uh, very cool. Trivia here. Um, Joseph Briano watched that movie about seven <laughs> times. No, like 17. 17 times because <laughs> he loved seeing He's himself. He's a movie star. It's, a, yeah, it's, it's <laughs> like he's never seen himself in a movie before. You know, we went, was, to, uh, we remember, went to one of the screenings with, with Joe and Anne, and then Lake was there. We got to meet her. She was lovely. And, was that the one um, at Arclight? Uh, or was there another... Was it, or was it The Grove? Oh, gosh, yeah, there was, I don't uh, there's been a, I think a, it was at The yeah, Grove. Was a few, yeah. um, but we always tease him because he's like, oh, you're a movie star now, but... Um, what did you What did you think watching yourself? Was it Did you enjoy it, or were you yeah, critical? I, I, yeah, or? No, I. You know, it's funny because I'm not one. You know, it's even like with troopers and stuff. And I mean, it's like I probably the, the coolest comment ever was my. I was at a family gathering and, and somebody had gone to my daughter. They went, "Well, that must be really cool to hear your dad on Alaska State Troopers." And she went, "No," because every time I hear that voice, I think I'm in trouble. Oh! You know, she's 27. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's good. Uh, but I, you know, it, it's almost like third party. You just kind of. Yeah. I, I, to me, that just seems like a. <laughs> I don't know. It's like listening to your own stuff and watching, and it's like, "Ooh, mm -hmm. I'm on." You know, it sounds. I don't, it sounds like a bizarre form of master. Patient. I know. Sorry, did I say that out loud? You did. Um, uh, sorry, it's like, it's oh God, of, it's me. Um, you know, come on. So, so you, you know. can listen and not cringe. I mean, you're okay with it. You're just like, yeah, I did. I it, just whatever. let it go. You know? I, yeah. I just, you know, because you, you know, if like they were duck. happy with it, it you just kind of. Yeah. What do you still love about the voiceover industry, man? 
Um, I honestly, I, I still go, you know, get up in the morning and still love what I do. It's it's an. I mean, again, Rob Paulson hit it on the head when he goes, "We're all getting paid a lot of money for stuff we got in trouble for in the seventh grade," yeah. and it's mm-hmm. and it's true. Um, you know, it's still it's very creative. There is the business side, but it still is probably the coolest job in the world. It is. You know, um, you know, creating characters and even and even you know the audition process. And that's that's the other thing too. As I look at it, is is become a professional auditioner. Don't look mm-hmm. at it as I've got to book the job with a deer on the you yeah. know the headlights look. You know, because yeah. uh, yeah. my rents do. It's like no, just you are an auditioner. Audition, audition, audition. Yeah, an audition. You great. Know? And yeah. that's and that's and that really is the. You know, that and just, it's a fun job. Yeah. I mean, it is. And there's something inherently cool about being in a studio. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. It's funny. My brother is a musician, lives in Hawaii, and will come around. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on this new project. You want to come down to the studio? It's like, absolutely not. You know, it's <laughs> like, I'm in a studio all day. It's yeah, like, yeah, there's yeah. nothing, you know. But, you know, there's something about the lighting and all the bells. Yeah. That, right, that, you know, that, right. you yeah. know, we get very used to it because it's, but it's still pretty cool to come in and just go, yeah. And, yeah. and you sit down mm-hmm. in the cockpit I don't and go, think let's go. I ever... Yeah ever walk into my studio and go like Mm. god i really hate being here like i never think that in fact i could be having a horrible day which never happens but because of you (laughs) (laughs) but i could be having just like a sad day for some whatever reason i get to the studio man i feel great yeah. Oh um, yeah. It's, what do you think that is? I think it's just because you're, it's it's creative. Yeah. And there's just something inherently All cool of sudden your about your mind. Just goes, mm-hmm. you know. And each thing is new. I mean, it's so fun at the at the studio to walk through and there'll be, you know, Joe Montana's narrating something in Studio A, and they're doing a video game in four, and they're doing ADR for a movie, and it and it's you're hearing, you know, yeah, just and, and, it's, great and running into people, yeah. and it's and it's yeah. it's just it's yeah. it's a, a very fun environment. That's it really so is. cool, man. It's and even if you're doing stuff at home it's the weird thing is is it's good you know mark elliott you were talking mark doesn't have a home studio he refuses mm-hmm. to because right. you need that human yeah. contact and we become mm-hmm. so isolated you know it's, it's social media is so incredibly anti-social because you're at home here let me right. lie about this right. you know and that's how you know really all of the pictures and the, and the videos and all that stuff the reason for that was to legitimize it's like it's not lying. Legi- well, yeah, well yeah, yeah it's true because yeah. there's so many people with the, well yeah. you know with a copy paste it's like oh, let me grab this I know. And like, well, yes, and you know, and and you know, there's people that are claiming that they're making you know almost a million or over a year off pay to and play sites, and it's myself, like, like if you if you can post on Facebook <laughs> seven times a day, a post this long, no, you are not doing 74 auditions in 13 sessions because you wouldn't have time. Well, and that it's you like, see people on. talking about God, I was just by down, I had 17 jobs today, and it's like, it's like no, you really, didn't. it's like there's that much work in Wisconsin, <laughs> you know, it's yeah, like wow, Wisconsin. you know, um, and and so and again. <laughs> There's five five stores there, and you did 17. And there's a a lot, and and the internet is kind of a hotbed for that, where there's an an, an immense amount of claims without a lot of stuff to substantiate. And that's the main thing, man, is that, you know. Be responsible. Be responsible. Get good information from really, really good sources. If you don't know good sources, Talk to people that are a good source, and they will be able to refer, refer you to And if you, you have a sources. question, I mean, I'm open. I'm sure you are, too. It's like, Absolutely. send an email. I, I'm not a, you know, I'm, and I don't do that. You know, if you send me your demo, I will try and listen to it when I can, but I'm pretty good about it and will yeah. and, and give you, some, right. you know, right. and, and not, you know, I don't charge to do that. because I've. But, but at the same point... There are people that take advantage of that, sure. and then yeah. it's like, well, can you just send me this? Can you send me some music? Can you send me some copy to do yeah, it? And it's yeah, like, yeah, I yeah. can't. I, I can't. I, I, yeah. There comes a point where it's like, yeah. I can't. You're, you're right. Keep, you're you know. right. I've done that before, too. People have yeah. sent me something. I'm like, yeah, no problem. And and then they'll start asking for more and more and more, and you're just like, all right, that's it. Well, yeah, you, you don't want <laughs> to be, you know, go. like, right. but it, there just comes a point where it's like, look, yeah. this is not this is not your personal clearinghouse. Yeah, exactly. you know? <laughs> so, yes, So, yes. you know. But I think the thing is just enjoy. It. It's a fun, and I think at this point, you know, I mean, I'll be, well, I don't know when this, I'll be 63 on Monday. Mm. And Happy birthday. 63 on Monday? Yeah, yeah. Dude, I thought yeah. you were like 41. Yeah, no, six, you know. Look how but, sexy but, you are. But, but, well, no, but the, but the cool like thing the is. sexy beast. But, but I still I still love it. Yeah. And, and the thing is, you know, it, it's like it, the business has been very, very good to me, and I've been very blessed mm-hmm. and very lucky. Mm-hmm. That's all part of it. Yep. Um, but I still love it. You yeah. know, it's still, it's a great thing. So it's like, you know, talk to somebody who's, I mean, I've seen all of the changes going way, way, way back when, yeah. you know, well, and, and it's you're still, still fun. I mean, you're, you're still finding ways to, you know, to not say, well, that's how I, that's how it was done. You're always still staying current. 
When do you feel the most content in your life? Um, most content? Yeah. Um, at home with my girl and my dog and, and you know, in, in family stuff. And I think the thing is, too, is, is that... You like oh, yeah, your pool. Yeah, it's a, yeah I it's get a, a lot nice of comments pool. on it. Yeah, it's a pretty neat... It's we crawl nice under the waterfall. So. But I think the key, honestly, is um, to have a life away from the, because this mm-hmm. business can be extraordinarily consuming and you run into people and that's all they want to talk about and uh, and stuff yeah. and sometimes um one of the things i got involved doing was was coaching um special needs teams and it's it's such a sweet and endearing mm. you know thing because they don't i mean there's kind of with video games that go you know that, that likes but mostly you're just you know the coach and stuff and i figure you know i have no idea what i'm doing but if they're leaving sweaty and smiling then it, then it's good mm-hmm. and it's it's just a very sweet you know, kind of a, a thing. Um, and, I, and I always tell people, you know, give something back, yeah. you know, anything. It doesn't matter what, what it, it doesn't have to be some major thing or whatever, but just do something that's not necessarily about you or about mm-hmm. your, du- that yeah. just has nothing to do with anything. That's just making Love somebody it. else feel good. Yeah. And that's one thing that's kind of fun. You know, video games, I've gotten so many things w- with, you know, like from parents with like kids in hospitals and stuff. Mm-hmm. And they're going, you know, gee, they really love, you know, like Skylanders. Could you know, so I've got a stack of stuff that you sign and go, God, you know, and, it's, and that's just, I mean, the fact, you know, that, that you can do something that somebody like that reacts to and makes mm-hmm. them feel good. It's like, really? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's like, you know, to you, it's just, I was just in doing a session, but it's like, well, that's cool. You know, yeah. that's, that's a pretty yeah. good feeling. That's that a pretty nice. Really cool. yeah. Yeah. What do you still want to accomplish uh, in your life, Mark? Retirement. <laughs> um, that's going to happen. You know, what's you funny, to honestly, um, you know, I, I, professionally, I, 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 it's gone so far and above whatever I, I, whatever I ever, ever, ever imagined, mm-hmm. you know, um, the fact that we've even still here and that it's gotten as big, I mean, that studio, right? It's, it's five, stu- it's 17,000 square feet with five yeah. studios. And I started it's in this amazing. little tiny, so I, it's, Hollywood you know, <laughs> yeah, you know, with, with the transvestites, it was a very special, thing. <laughs> I still have friends there, no, um, but, um, you know, I, I Honestly, I, I'm very content, you know, with with going, you know, where it's going. And I think mm-hmm. at this, you know, point, um, it's more looking, you know, at at other stuff, you know. I just as as far as outside of the the voiceover mm-hmm. kind of thing, um, I'll never quit doing it. I mean, until I drop. And we did a, mm-hmm. <laughs> we did, I think the last Jetson session, and all the guys were in, and it was the the most bizarre, surreal kind of. You know, they've got their oxygen tanks because they're all ancient. <laughs> Dawes is still doing Elroy. Hey, you guys, come on. You know, he's still got the, you know, and it's like, okay, cut. <laughs> you know, it was yeah. just like, you know, it was kind of a weird, you know, but I think that, you know, we're all, you know, I mean, that's something that we're all going to get older and eventually yeah. get there. So I think it's just, you know, be true, be honest, be good so that, you know, if nobody's saying too many bad things about you, hopefully. Knock on, right. knock on. There's this, wood underneath there. Okay. Yeah. So you're, um, you're okay. But you too. <laughs> it is an exciting <laughs> show. Oh, um, but, hey, don't forget so, your golf balls. <laughs> My God. Hey, I tell you, it's a tough couch. Yeah. You know. <laughs> but I mean, honestly, it's just you know, it's it's just enjoying and you know, get up in the morning and and you know, hey, we're upright and yeah. just still having fun. It's a fresh day. There's mm-hmm. new stuff. Every you day vertical lots of new is people, a good day, you know. baby. Absolutely. You know. Yeah. Absolutely. Mark, pick a card. I don't know what this is gonna say. Does it get out of jail free? Mm-hmm. Nothing you're, you're, can you're save you. You're parole for buddy. life, baby. Is this, I'll take all of these. <laughs> take them all. Okay, here we go. Is this one right here? Yeah. yeah okay. Read it in your favorite character voice. Do you want me to read it in a character voice? Really? Yeah, in your right. favorite so, character voice. So, what do you complain about more than anything else, Stacy? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that question's for you, though. It's for oh. you. <laughs> well, I have no idea. I complain that you, what do you Mark complain is not, about more doesn't than talk to me. Else. No Traffic. Welcome to Los Angeles. Is that um, that, would that be it, or um, is it deeper than that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, come on, Barbara really, Walters. Okay. Um, dig deep. Come on. Just, you're going to make me cry. Yes. Good. Come on. Bring the tears. Come on. This is um, sweeps week. <laughs> I think, honestly... Um, Seriously, I think people that claim the people that are inept that claim that they're not not, and I don't mean that as but people that that make claims that there's nothing to follow it up 
Do you know what I mean? And I don't, I don't mean that as, a, as like a... Smoke a, blowers? A, a, well, yeah, you know, that kind of thing. But, but, you know, again, people that get very arrogant and say, because I've never been, I'm just not mm-hmm. that kind of a mm-hmm. person. I just yeah. don't, you know, it's like I'll stop and talk to yeah. anybody. I don't, you I'll know, have right, to agree with right. you on that. You, you know? are not yeah. full of yourself. No, you're not. Wait, and, can I say something, something nice about yeah. you real quick? Yeah, oh, please, please do. It. So just, just listen can to me. Can we get a close-up on Chuck, please? Get a close-up. Look, your eyes are getting... No, no, no. No, no, no. I always get, sometimes I get a little emotional. Yeah. I'm going to say something and we there's love truth you. involved. Yes. This is the only time I'm going to be truthful. This in the, is truth. the whole, No. Um, I got to say, man, and I know that this probably goes for Stacy too. Yes. And many, many yes. other people, uh, your beautiful girl that's sitting over there. When I, when we go anywhere and we see you, I personally always get this smile on my face it's like, oh my God, hey, there's Mark. Because you're such a great guy, man. You're honest, you're truthful, you got a great heart. You got, God. no, 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 but I'm serious. You're you're a genuinely awesome kind guy, you know? Man. And and you're mm-hmm. respectful, and at the same time, you're crazy, you know what I mean? It's mm-hmm. like you, you encompass all this madness, but yet again, all this softness, God, you know? And it's really, really cool, eyed. man. So I wanted to say thank you for being such an awesome guy. Well, that's really sweet. I just Absolutely, that, mean, that means a lot. Yeah. I, you know, it just I think you know we're all humans. We are. You know, and mm-hmm. so just and, you know, but that that was really sweet of you. You're, you're well, because you've known Mark much longer than I have known you, but I remember meeting you at a party instantly, and I was like, oh, because I had heard the name, I heard, and I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah. What God, a genuinely kept me out of yeah. here. And, just and, a and, kind, and genuine even, person you've always been, and yeah. you're just so much fun. And even the first, the first first time that we met, it was it was kind of like just a camaraderie (laughs) thing that we were just like, oh hey Mark Rao, hey Chuck, we kind of just like you know instantly like. I don't know. Did we bond a little bond. bit? Well, no, <laughs> there was a little man bonding. No, no. no. Be, because hey, take your golf balls no, be, out no, of here, because, man. No, because because there's a, a same because we we can relate obviously because yeah. we are very similar in, yeah. in a lot of respects. You know, other than the fact that I play guitar pretty shitty. I mean, I can stumble, but you know, um, my hair's better than Jess's. I want you to know that. <laughs> yeah, it is. Here, let me just pull this down. No. It is. It is. <laughs> um, but no, I think you know it's it's just I, th- I think you know when you do that, it's it comes back to you, it's, and there's no reason to be you know arrogant. To, nobody wants to be around you're right. that. You're you know, right. I mean, who? Yeah. who yeah. You're right. You know. Well, you guys are both really talented and successful in your own rights, but you have respect for each other and you speak kindly of one yeah. another, and that says a lot for each of you as individuals. But I think that's true right. with most people in this bit. There's yeah. not a lot of people that no. that once you reach us, we, we all realize we're very blessed, we're doing what we mm-hmm. want to do. Yep. You yeah. know, it's not a Monday job where you're forced to do to cover. I mean, again, it's, it's so you're still having fun, and there's yeah. a yep. definite camaraderie yeah. there, yep. absolutely. And yeah. I love you guys, yep. absolutely, you know well, that. I, you, I really do, I, I really yeah. do. Yeah, you thank know, you. you support each other, everyone rises, it's great. Absolutely. You know? yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Growl. Thank you for Ta-da. being here. Yeah. My pleasure, darling. Give Put me it kiss. there, buddy. Oh, I don't want to kiss. Oh, come right. on. Yes, you I'll do. Say nice stuff about you, but <laughs> yes, no, you do. no kisses, man. Wait till the camera goes off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, oh, thank, you for, thank you for grazing our studios, man, with thank your you. awesome. My this pleasure. This great, was great. This was awesome. This You're was always awesome welcome night. here, This is really fun. And we're going to be back next time with a whole other show for you, so yes. stick around. Hi everybody, this is Mark Rao and I'm a recovering voiceover addict and I just got buzzed with Chuck and Stacy and hopefully after the 12 step program, <laughs> how many steps was it? 12. What step was this? <laughs> okay, um, I'll get back to you in like in the fall. Thanks. <laughs> All right, so you got part one, Mm -hmm. you got part two. What does that mean? That means that we're done with Mark Grout, but it also means that next week we're going to be back with another brand new episode for you guys. Yes, we're never done with Mark Grout. He's too awesome. Just keep watching it, loop it, share it. All the time, over and over. Why not? Absolutely. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is very important. Yeah, right there on the logo. (laughs) Click it. We're so bossy. Hey, and don't forget to keep up with us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. We love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And just remember, you you always always have time for a little buzz. Come on, come on, come on and get buzzed with us. The O Buzz Weekly is sponsored by Chuck Duran's Demo That Rock. The voiceover demo producer to the stars is now available to you. Visit DemosBitRock.com and take your voiceover career to the next level. See you next time. And remember, you always have time for a little buzz.